guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're doing another try not to laugh challenge and ruining some movies and shows that I love. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's see what Ryan George has been up to. I want to watch a couple more of his pitch meetings. I watched a couple a while back with you guys and you seem to really enjoy that. Oh, there's a Squid Game pitch meeting. It's been a while since I've finished Squid Game, but you know, it could be fun. So, you have a new series for me? Yes, sir, I do. Well, actually, this comes from our team in South Korea. Oh, interesting. Oh. It's called Squid Game. Okay, so this is like in the Shark Tale cinematic universe? Ah, well, actually, no, sir, because that's not a thing. <laughs> Shark Tales! I loved Shark Tales! Wow, that just brought up something deep in me. Welcome to the car wash. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. Yeah, so this is a show where a bunch of desperate people play in children's games for the chance to win a bunch of money. How much money are we talking? 45.6 billion. Wow. South Korean won. Which is also a lot in U.S. dollars. Okay, great, mm -hmm. awesome. Great, so we're great. Gonna follow this guy named Gi Hun, right? Okay. And he owes a bunch of money to loan sharks. Yeah, from Shark Tale. Nope. And what is with the shark tale? Guy in a suit slaps him around in a subway station a little mm -hmm. bit. He gets yep. invited to participate in this event that can help him clear his debt. Oh, uh, getting slapped around by a guy in a suit is tight. Okay, and so he gets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy that he's always pitching to has issues. <laughs> so what's the deal with this place? Well, everybody's in a numbered tracksuit and there are very angry PlayStation buttons watching it. <laughs> Wait, I'm sure that that's been said before, but I literally, that's the first time I've heard anybody call, say that their things look, their masks look like PlayStation buttons. I actually never thought about that. PlayStation. So people start freaking out and running around and 255 people get brutally murdered. What is happening? What is going on? I was <laughs> The catch is this is a super secret organization with insane surveillance, and if you lose in a game, you die. Oh, very messed up. Yeah, it also turns out this cop who's following a lead on his missing brother, he's infiltrating this whole operation. Man, that's gonna be hard to do with all the crazy surveillance. Actually, it's nope. gonna be super easy. Barely Not an inconvenience. Barely an inconvenience! <laughs> I remember that line. <laughs> Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Yeah, he just sneaks onto this boat that's bringing players to this place and he kills one of the PlayStation buttons and puts his uniform and mask on. He just kills someone at the beginning of the investigation? Yes. Yeah. He doesn't even know what's going on yet. Yeah. yeah. So he just does a casual little murder because he needs the right clothes to keep investigating. Okay. Right. Then... That's what I thought though too. I was like, isn't like this something you shouldn't do as a cop is kill another random person? Just whatever. So he's sneaking around the whole time collecting evidence. With what? With his smartphone, and unlike everybody in the games, this thing just won't die. Oh, neat. Yeah! Anyway, so then the second- Wait, <laughs> like, like everyone in the game. <laughs> they need to cut specific shapes Dalgona. out of honeycomb candy without breaking the candy. Oh, yeah. yikes. So then Gihun figures out that if you lick the candy, that helps a lot, so he survives with like a second left, which is kind of his thing. That uh, is his thing. Solving problems by licking things is tight. I never want to hang out with you, so then the- <laughs> That's what I'm saying, this character's creepy. <laughs> The next game is a tug of war where if you lose, you yeah. fall to your death. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so pretty much all the main characters are on one team and then a bunch of random people are on the other. Oh, man, I wonder what team is going to win. Oh, well, get this. The team with all the main characters wins. Oh, yeah, crazy. The team with all the random unimportant characters we don't know, that team doesn't win. Oh, man, I did not see that coming. Very Such a surprise. For sure. So then after that, they're going to play the marble game. What's that one? Well, everybody uh, has to pick a partner. The marble. Marble game is so sad. I don't like how this episode makes me feel. And yeah. also, Gihan is teamed me up with either, this man. sweet old man, and he ends up having to take advantage of this man's dementia in order to survive. Oh boy, okay. That's a lot. Lip trills always look so silly on camera because like the frame rate can't keep up with it. Ready? Bridge with pairs of glass panels, oh, each made God. of tempered glass or regular glass. Oh, and they need to try to step on the tempered glass with every step? Exactly. There's no other way they could get across. What are the panels held up with? Some long beams on which they can definitely cross. Okay. Thank you! 
Thank you. That's what I was saying. I was like, why are you using the, uh, whatever, it's a show. Okay. <laughs> gets shot in the shoulder and falls. Falls where? All the way into season two if necessary. Okay, so does Gihan use all the prize? All the way into season two if necessary. It's gonna be this big twist where we find out the guy who started the games is that old guy. Oh, I thought he was killed during the marble game. He must have had the guard, like, fire the gun next to his head or something. Yeah. And Gihan wasn't watching. Well, what if Gihan yep. hadn't turned his back? How did he intend to fake his death? I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> this man, he brings me so much joy. He's great. This is so freaking funny. Man, I can't believe I went so much of my life without ever seeing his videos. Thank you guys for suggesting him to me. I really do read the comments, so please suggest things down below that you want me to check out because uh, he's a gem. And the old man dies of a brain tumor and Gi-hun decides to use the money for good. Nice. And hair dye. What? And then at the end, it yeah. seems like maybe he's- <laughs> Why did he dye his hair red, really though? You think we can properly translate and dub this thing from Korean? No. Yeah, maybe. That is so funny. Wow, what a what a well thought out video. Like he really went bit by bit over the whole season. That was great. Wait a minute. Okay, this is hella random, but he's got one for Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and I like really want to watch that. I think we're just gonna do that one. I am so curious about what he has to say because I love Willy Wonka. There's one scene in it that's horrifying, the tunnel scene, but I'm curious to see what he has to say <laughs> about this. So you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and it's based on a book called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, so we're doing like a spin on it, making Willy Wonka the main character? No, the main character is this kid called Charlie. So why are we, I don't know. Well, okay then. Then we're gonna find out that this guy Willy Wonka, who owns a candy factory is having this big contest. Oh, what's the contest? Well, he's hitting some golden tickets and some candy got a bars. golden and ticket. Finds gets a tour of the factory. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so everybody in the- <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> he's so goofy, I love it. The world just starts going crazy, like everybody's looking for these things. And who ends up finding them? Well, there's this girl, Violet, who loves chewing gum. There's a boy named Mike TV who loves TV. There's a boy named Augustus Gloop who likes to eat. And there's a girl named Veruca Salt who's, you know, Satan. Oh, she is. Satan. She's a- <laughs> She's Satan. She is. She's horrible. Charlie ends up finding the ticket and he gets to bring somebody with him. How's oh, so who does he bring with him? His hardworking mom? Nope, he's gonna bring his Grandpa Joe. Haven't all his grandparents been bedridden for two decades? They sure have, but Grandpa Joe's gonna be so excited he's gonna get out of bed and start dancing around. What? Yeah, he's so excited he can't wait to go. <laughs> You're saying all it took for him to get out of bed was the opportunity to go eat some free candy? That's right. Oh, Grandpa Joe's a monster. Is he the- ruining the movie for me. No, stop it. Stop it, Ryan. Well, they see Willy Wonka and he pretends to need a cane, but then he does a little roll, so it's very fun. Oh, because people it is think weird. he can't walk well, but then he can. Exactly. And so yeah, that is way, pretty the weird. The audience never knows if he could be trusted. Not as sketchy as Grandpa Joe, though. So then they start the tour. <laughs> His character hates Grandpa Joe. I'm conflicted because I like Grandpa Joe. And they see all kinds of weird rooms inside this factory. Wow, 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 wow. And Is that a thing that he does in many of his videos? Wow, 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 wow. Or did he just decide to do it for this, this one? Massive chocolate river with a waterfall. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it looks like diarrhea though, for sure. Oh, no. Doesn't and look great. And Augustus Gloop, he's gonna start drinking out of the chocolate diarrhea river and he's gonna, gonna fall, fall in. right in. My God, is he okay? Unclear, but they got a whole song and dance ready for this exact situation. Very strange. So then everybody gets on this little boat and it's super cute and it has just- uh -oh. Oh, he's gonna talk about the tunnel now. You know, the more he's getting into this, the more I am realizing how f***ed up this movie was. Was it a Roald Dahl book? Who wrote this book again? It was Roald Dahl. That's why it's so f***ed up. It's just the right number of seats for them. Does that mean that Wonka knew that one of the kids wasn't gonna make it out of that room? That's certainly one way to interpret it, sir. Yeah, very dark. Yeah, and then they go through this tunnel on a little- I never thought about that. Little boat ride. Oh, well, that's fun. That'll kind of counterbalance the extremely dark thing you just alluded to. And no. It's dark and images start getting projected on the walls. Millipedes crawling on people's faces. Chickens yeah. being beheaded. What? And Walker uh -huh. just stares at everybody and he's speaking in an increasingly loud voice. What is going on? He's singing about how not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. Growing? The fires of hell are glowing. glowing. The grizzly reaper mowing. Mowing? Stop. And then he ends the song with a big scream. He says, there's no way of 
knowing which way that we are going, or which way the river's flowing, certainly is not owing, owing, ma! And everyone's sitting there shocked at what they just witnessed. Oh my god. So anyway, then they head into the next room. Well, wait, what the hell was that about? I don't know. So then in the next room, they get... <laughs> That, it really doesn't make sense, that scene. That scene haunted me for many years. Then they all get to try out some lickable wallpaper, and let me tell you, Grandpa Joe gets pretty nasty with his tongue on that. <laughs> Not Grandpa Joe. Can we leave Grandpa Joe alone? He's, he's fine, okay? He's fine. He's a nice man. We don't need to do this to Grandpa Joe. <laughs> I'm so upset. Then they go into another room and they see the stuff called fizzy lifting drinks, but Wonka tells them they can't have any because it's not ready. Okay. But then when mm -hmm. everybody leaves the room, Grandpa Joe is like, hey, Charlie, everybody's gone. No one's watching. Let's have some. Oh, this freaking guy. Are you sure he's not the bad guy in this thing? He might be. So <laughs> You know what's kind of interesting when you think about it? Like, something should have really happened to Charlie because of this. Because they, like, did something that Wonka said he wasn't supposed to do. And when everybody else did that, they all, like, got punished and excluded. And then just because Charlie held on to the everlasting gobstopper, he was fine. Whatever. Floating up towards this big ceiling fan, and it seems like they're gonna get chopped up by it. Oh, gonna be tough to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah, oh, really? Barely, yeah, barely so an just inconvenience. Start burping a whole lot, and that makes them float back down to the ground. Oh, solving problems by burping is tight. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, Mike TV gets turned all miniature, and Veruca falls down a garbage chute that leads to a furnace. Oh, this place is a death trap. Well, we're gonna imply that maybe the kids didn't die, so... Oh, okay. You know, they're all definitely on a path to excruciating death, but maybe they're not gonna get there. I guess that's yeah. reassuring. Anyway, yeah. so... We're not sure, because it's Roald Dahl, but probably they're fine. So then Wonka takes Charlie and Grandpa Joe into a magical elevator that shoots up all the way into the sky. Yeah, that also sounds extremely unsafe. Definitely, and so Wonka's gonna mm -hmm. be like, good news, Charlie. Charlie, I'm giving you the factory. It's yours. What? Yeah, Charlie's in charge of a factory now, and Grandpa Joe's gonna be like, what about me? Can I live there too? Oh, of course he says <laughs> that. Yeah, okay, he is the worst. So, 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 so... Tra He's not the worst! He's just a grandpa. He's fine. Maybe he is the worst. I don't know. I'm questioning everything I thought I knew about Grandpa Joe now. Well, you know, I think it sounds like a pretty good horror movie. Oh, no, this is a kid's movie. Oh, it is? Yeah, this is for kids. This is for the little humans. But what about all the horrifying stuff all throughout the movie? I don't know. What about that tunnel scene where he's yelling about hellfire and flashing disturbing images? Oh, well, those images are going to fly by so fast, I don't think anyone's going to know what's actually happening. Okay, well, I guess it's good that there's not really any technology for people to watch these movies at home and slow them down and rewatch that scene. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hopefully that never exists, or I imagine somebody would make a list of all the disturbing stuff we're gonna shove in there. I never need to watch that scene slow down, <laughs> and I never will. Consciously, at least. Oh, you know what? He's got a Spider-Man 2002 pitch meeting. That is really fitting because I just watched that over on my Patreon recently. And I also, I think by the time that you guys see this video, I'll have the YouTube video up for my reaction to Spider-Man. So if you want to go see that video, check it out. It was fun. It was fun to watch. Let's watch his pitch meeting. So you have a Spider-Man movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And it's going to be all about Spider-Man. Oh, that sounds perfect. Well, it starts with Peter Parker as a nerd in high school. And this is one of those cool high schools where everybody's 30 years old. Those are the best. Yes, they are. It's like too much, man. They're so old. So what powers does he develop? And his main power is the ability to shoot webs. But he makes the web shooters himself like in the comics, right? No, we're going to have them be organic because of the spider bite. So the web fluid. That just explained a lot to me. Because every Spider-Man movie that I've seen since this Tobey Maguire one, because the Tobey Maguire one I saw years ago, I just thought that like that's how Spider-Man works. He just shoots webs out of his arms. So Tobey's the weird one. Got it. <laughs> So who's the bad guy in this thing? Oh, it's this guy Norman Osborn, and he's gonna turn into the Green Goblin. Sounds scary. Yeah, he has these bombs that turn people into skeletons. Oh man, it's gonna be tough for Spider-Man to win when the bad guy has those. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? So anyway, Green Goblin's gonna ask Spider-Man if he wants to team up with him and be evil together. Oh, and if Spider-Man says no, he's gonna kill him? Yeah, but he's gonna be really cool about it. He's gonna be like, you know what? Take your time, think about it, and if you wanna be evil together, hit me up. Very considerate. Yeah. 
Yeah, you wanna be evil together, HMU. Peter's in love with this girl, MJ, but she's dating his friend, Harry Osborn. Oh, bummer. Mm. Yeah, but he's gonna save her as Spider-Man and they're gonna share this romantic upside down kiss. Infidelity doesn't count if it's upside down. Exactly, so she's still a good person. Fantastic. Although she does also kiss him at Harry's dad's funeral. Oh, well, kissing at funerals is super romantic. Yeah, she does. That's so fucked up, I just realized that. That's so fucked up. Mary Jane, no! Green Goblin is gonna dangle a tram car full of kids on one side of a bridge and MJ on the other. So this happens during the day? No, it happens at night. Why were there a bunch of kids in a tram car at night? They were on one of those nighttime field trips, I guess. <laughs> oh, well that's not a real thing. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. Whoopsie, so who does Peter choose Whoopsie. to Whoopsie. He chooses both. Was that an option? Yes. Well, okay then. So then there's gonna- Technically not, but he makes it work. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, and I have the perfect guy in mind to play Peter Parker. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this guy, Tobey Maguire, he's gonna be the definitive Spider-Man. Nobody's ever gonna be able to replace him. Amazing. All right, guys, the last one didn't sting as much because I have just watched that one recently and saw some of the issues with it, and it's kind of fun to just poke fun at that. Grandpa Joe stings a little bit, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we should do um, some censored trailers to round out this video. Oh, we could keep the Spider-Man fun going. There's an Into the Spider-Verse, unnecessary censorship. That could be fun by Ninja Panda. Let's do it. I feel like this may ruin it for me, but you know. That's what this is all about. Thanks to everyone here at the Fisk family. I like your Really? I don't know. Uh, I don't think I've you before. You know me and your dad used to back in the day. No! It's true. Ew! You really Spider-Man? Well, that's kind of funny. You. Step six. I a bagel from the cafeteria and run. No! Not a bagel! Leave the food of my people alone! I'm a photographer for the Daily Beagle. When I'm not pooching around, I'm looking like a dog. Okay, little fella, Kingpin's gonna send a lot of mugs after you, and I'm talking hard, boys. Well, I, I haven't actually f anyone. Okay, 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 I gotta stop. I gotta stop. He's a kid. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. No. Kung Fu pa Oh, Kung Fu Panda. Listen! Listen, I'm you nervous. can hear the Dragon Warrior f right now! You hear f you there and f you waiting with this, tightening the wall. <laughs> Must be close. I can feel a kung fu chill riding up my. Sorry, Poe, it's just me. Oh, God! No! 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 Ah. Okay, I'm done. I gotta be done. I gotta I gotta be done. I gotta be done. I have a lot to think about. <laughs> or not think about ever again. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I have a lot of fun watching some of these trailers and some of these pitch meeting videos because I watch a lot of movies with y'all on my other channel and so it's kind of fun to just poke fun at them on this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Definitely let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below for other things you want me to check out. And until the next one, Peace.